I made these three changes to my LinkedIn profile to get more recruiters reaching out to me for relevant cybersecurity jobs. As a sneak peek, I will tell you that I have had more recruiters reaching out to me specifically based on these changes that I've made. So this all started as a conversation with Unix guy, who you guys may know on YouTube, about whether or not these changes made to my LinkedIn profile would get me more views or outreach from recruiters in these specific roles that I'm interested in. Tell me what's your ultimate dream job? A cybersecurity engineer at Google. So from there, we decided to give this a test run by implementing these changes on my LinkedIn profile for a certain amount of time to see how many recruiters actually reach out to me based on all the changes I've made to my LinkedIn profile. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I implemented these changes, my thoughts on the changes and whether or not they worked for me. So firstly, I do want to start off with the fact that LinkedIn is one of the best ways for you to be able to reach out directly to hiring managers, to recruiters, as well as anyone who is looking for candidates for a specific role in cybersecurity. Nowadays, when you're applying to jobs online, whether it be through job portals or or, or third-party job listing sites, you want to remember that that typically means you're joining an applicant pool of hundreds or even thousands of applicants, and that in general can make it really hard for you to stand out, which is another reason why nowadays, when you're looking for jobs in cybersecurity, you really want to streamline your job search process by going the extra mile and either connecting with hiring managers directly, getting in contact with recruiters that are hiring in the specific niche or field that you're trying to get into, as well as, of course, just taking advantage of your network on LinkedIn because you never know which connection, whether it be second or third connections, will be able to refer you for a job or keep an eye out for a specific type of role that you're interested in if you were to really take advantage of LinkedIn as a professional networking tool. And as they say, your network is your net worth, especially considering that so many jobs as you start your career are going to be from direct referrals or someone in your network sharing an opportunity with you. As always, if you're currently in the cybersecurity job market and looking to ace your next cybersecurity interview, I have my cybersecurity interview prep mastery course linked in my description below to help you prepare for any cybersecurity interview question that they'll throw at you and get your next job in cybersecurity. All right, so with that, let's go into change number one that I've made to my LinkedIn profile to get more views and outreach from recruiters. So the first change that was recommended to be made was to change my headline. This is basically the text under your name on your LinkedIn profile when someone searches you, when someone looks at your profile, when someone sees you in a list of potential connections. I changed this to a cybersecurity engineer professional in Python based on my previous experience as well as specifically the job that I'm interested in going into, which in this case would be a cybersecurity engineer at Google. So based on this specifically, Unix guy has already done some research on the coding language that the Google cybersecurity team uses, which specifically is Python. So we're really trying to highlight that based on this experiment. So this is specifically the skill set that we're trying to highlight. And luckily for me, I do have experience using Python. I didn't use it as much in my last role, but I used it all throughout college as well as for automation in my first job in cybersecurity and a few personal projects I've done on the side. This I do think is a really key piece of advice because a lot of times when people are creating their resumes for their dream jobs, typically the skills needed for their dream jobs are not yet on their resume. A really great way to stand out to recruiters for the jobs that you want to apply to is by looking at the job that you want to go for and taking a look at the skills that the hiring managers are looking for. And then using those, recreating your resume to someone who would fit that role and then learning the skills on that resume to be able to fit your dream job. This is basically making your skill set fit directly into the job that you want to go for. Because oftentimes, especially as a beginner, you likely won't have the experience yet for the skill sets that the hiring manager is currently looking for. But that also doesn't mean that you can't learn them, which oftentimes in cybersecurity, there are many free resources or student licenses or community licensing that you can use so you can start picking up those relevant skills. But of course, for a skill like Python, this is going to be very easy to learn for free online through various different courses, walkthroughs. And this is exactly the rationale behind this change made on my LinkedIn profile, specifically for even if you currently don't have the skills that you need, be proactive in learning the skills and then document them appropriately on your LinkedIn and your resume. Which also brings us to change number two on my LinkedIn. And this one is one that I thought was pretty interesting that I probably wouldn't have thought of myself. And that specifically was to change my about section or my description of my LinkedIn to include a list of relevant projects in Python that I've done in the past. And if you've seen my LinkedIn about profile before, it was essentially very generalist. I basically introduced myself, said I had a background in software engineering and cybersecurity, as well as a few initiatives and volunteer organizations that I was a part of, including Tech Girls and Girls 
to code and a one-liner sentence about my YouTube channel. So that was essentially my about section. The recommended change from Unix guy was to specifically avoid confusing any recruiters or hiring managers that were looking at my profile and basically to remove any extra fluff, specifically for software development. This I do think is very interesting because I originally thought that in the past, adding or keeping, I guess, software engineering or software development experience or background on my about section would have made me a more well-rounded candidate since I had experience starting out in software development and then I pivoted my career into cybersecurity. So I had originally assumed that recruiters would actually see this as a positive because I had experience in both and I also had experience working on the secure SDLC side of cybersecurity in my previous role. But I can also see the other flip side of this, which is to his point that it could be confusing to recruiters if they're looking to fill a cybersecurity engineering role or even a cybersecurity analyst role. If I have my background in software development and cybersecurity, then the roles that they may consider me for may not be as targeted to the roles that I actually want to go into. He also recommended anything related to DEI or, or diversity and inclusion efforts like tech girls and girls who code into the experience section under content creator experience. This is the one thing I didn't 100% change just because I do think that a lot of the opportunities I've had in my career have come off of experiences like this where I volunteered with an organization as part of a previous role specifically, for example, Girls Who Code. That was an experience I did under a under a previous job that I had where I was the New York City co-lead for the Girls Who Code summer immersion program for my company at the time, which was Bank of America. And so at the end of the day, I decided to keep that as part of my about section on LinkedIn. But of course, this could look different for everyone. I'm sure someone else would have made the decision to move it. But I will say that now my about section of my LinkedIn does look a lot more technical than it did in the past, where in the past it was very much a broad general description of my past experience and not really what I was most skilled in or sharing with recruiters what skill sets may align the most based on my experience. And now I will say that it is much more aligned to a job that I would actually apply for versus just an about me section on my LinkedIn. The third change I've made to my LinkedIn profile is under the experience section. So I will say, even as someone who is on social media, if you even would consider you to social media, I'm definitely not the best at keeping updated a lot of the experience that I have, especially after you leave a role. How often are you updating your resume? How often are you updating your LinkedIn? If you're watching this video, then this is your sign to update both of them right now, following the steps outlined in this video, because these changes really did make a difference. For example, in my last role as a information security analyst, I did not update the experience section or, or what I did in this role. He also recommended highlighting the skills that I use in a job rather than listing all the responsibilities I did as part of a job. And based on that recommendation, I also updated my experience for that role to include more technical tasks that I've done. But in that role specifically, since I was working as a cybersecurity analyst, I wasn't using as much coding as I would have in an engineering role. So I ended up writing three bullet points that I can include right here on the screen. But one of them is more technical and focused on the automation that I did with a senior engineer on my team, specifically using Go and also using Python for certain things that we were testing, as well as part of our professional development. As part of the updates made to my cybersecurity job experiences, I also updated my experience under content creation for YouTube and added mentoring and coaching as part of this job, which I'm currently doing full-time as part of my sabbatical while I'm taking a career break from working a typical cybersecurity nine to five role. I definitely do think this was a really good piece of experience considering a potential hiring manager or recruiter who may come across my profile right now may see that I'm not doing anything cybersecurity focused. And because this is my one active role right now, I do think that it does go a long way in helping show that I'm still staying relevant and active in the cybersecurity space. All right, so there is a fourth bonus tip that is part of this video. And this one I do think makes the biggest difference in getting recruiters and hiring managers to notice you and reach out to you directly. And this is more so an action that you can take rather than a change that you're making to your profile. And that is specifically to follow the company that you're interested in. In my case, it is Google. And then going to the company page on LinkedIn, looking for the people who work at the company and searching up the specific roles for hiring managers in that space. For example, cybersecurity team leads, security managers, recruiters or team leads, and then sending them a message expressing your interest in working there as well as sharing where your background and skills align. I know this may seem daunting, especially if you're an introvert or aren't used to cold emailing, or cold messaging people that you don't know, but I really do think it makes a big difference. And, and you might initially think that no one will reply to you or people won't be interested in helping you, but this is one of those things where you never know until you try. And I really do think many people on LinkedIn are willing to help you in helping share an opportunity or 
sharing their experience or even potentially providing some mentorship or insights into the job they're currently doing. All right, so with all these changes, what exactly were the outcome of the changes that I've made to my LinkedIn? Did I actually get more recruiters reaching out to me? So because this experiment timeline was about a week long, I do think this would have been more effective if we did this test over a month or a few months time. But I will say that I did get more outreach from recruiters and people who are hiring or just sharing different opportunities that they've seen on LinkedIn and other job listings. So personally, I do think that is a huge success. And not to mention along the way that I've also expanded my network to some security managers and team leads at Google, which is, which is, if you guys didn't already know, one of my dream companies to work for in the cybersecurity space. So if you've gotten to this point of this video, I really challenge you to take some, if not all of these changes and apply them to your LinkedIn and see what the outcomes are for you if you're currently in the cybersecurity job market. Nowadays, I don't think it's enough to just apply to jobs on job boards because a referral or a direct connection on LinkedIn, even if it's through a cold message, can make the biggest difference in getting you one step ahead in a short list of candidates rather than competing with hundreds or even thousands of candidates for one entry-level cybersecurity job. And now, of course, if you want to see Unix guy going over my LinkedIn profile, explaining these changes and going over where you can implement them on your LinkedIn for recruiters and hiring managers reaching out to you for relevant jobs, you can jump over to his channel and watch this video to learn more.